Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a first impression review video on the new Michael Todd Total Refresher Dermal Rejuvenation System. This is a three-in-one system, so it's basically every type of really good treatment that you could do for your skin all in one simple step. So this is the so this has a combination diamond exfoliator, which is like microdermabrasion. This also has a blackhead and clogged pore extractor. So it has that suction thing that I've been seeing tons of those devices recently. And then it also has a micronized toning sprayer. So it's also toning your skin at the end at the same time. So it's really awesome. I was very intrigued, especially with the suction part, because I've been seeing those crazy blackhead removal videos all over the internet and it's really gross, but it's actually great to remove those from your skin and stuff. So I'm really excited to test this out for you guys. It's gonna be like a first impression review where I'm gonna be using it and I'll show you some before and after pictures and stuff and clips of how my skin looks. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is what the device here looks like. It's a really pretty lavender purple color like all Michael Todd devices. And it says total refresher here. And then it has the buttons here, which I'm assuming like one is for the toner and then the other is for something else. Um, it actually comes with a charger so you can charge this up so you don't have to replace batteries. And then this is the suction head at the top here. So once you open up this top here, that's where you put in your toner. And I love that it comes with this. It actually comes with a little squirt bottle and a little tiny funnel here so you can put your favorite toner down in here. And then it has three different heads here. It looks like one for each step. So this is like the diamond exfoliator thing here that's got um, that tip to it. And then there's two more. So we'll see what else all of this is used for in a minute. So first thing I'm doing is I'm taking a wet washcloth and I put this in the microwave to heat it up and I'm just gonna lay this over my face. This is a quick way to kind of steam your face and help open up your pores and just soften the skin. Ideally you would be doing this after you've taken a hot shower or a bath so your skin is nice and prepped for the device. So it also comes with a little baggie of filters and this is actually what prevents all the debris from going back into the device. The filter was actually already on here though but they do give you extras. So I'm first putting on the microdermabrasion head which has the diamond crystal texture to it so it helps exfoliate your skin. And then I'm just turning it on and similar to other devices you just pull your skin taut so it doesn't you know just get sucked up in there and not actually do anything but you want to move in really quick motions. You don't want to hover over an area for too long and you just want to keep it moving and I just go in pretty short strokes probably like an inch and a half across you don't want to pull your skin like for a long length across because it's just going to tug on your skin too much so by doing it in short strokes it's just working quickly and it's not hovering you know in one area too long or else you'll end up with a burn so you definitely don't want to do that I have this sped up just for the sake of the video but I'm actually going a little bit slower you just want to move at a good pace to where it's still getting it good but you're not just like sticking in one area I'm just going along and doing all the different sections of my face until I'm finished. And I can already tell it's just making such a difference in the texture of my skin. It just looks like it's erasing my pores. It's the craziest thing. You can even kind of see it on camera. But it's just softening the texture of my skin. And you can just see the difference compared from one side to the other. And you can even tell where I've already been. Your skin gets a little bit red, but that's just from the suction. But it goes down and it looks great afterwards. So now that I am finished with the actual exfoliation part, I'm moving on to step two, which is the pore suction. So there's two brush heads for this. I'm first starting out with the large one. These are actually really easy to switch um, on and off. And I'm also using it on the low setting. There's three settings, but it's really intense when you first do it. So I would definitely recommend starting on the low. I was kind of shocked when I first used it. It doesn't hurt at all, but it's just the strangest feeling at first because your skin is just being like sucked up. It's so weird. It kind of feels like if you have like a vacuum on your skin, skin. But same deal with this, you just want to move in quick motions. You definitely don't want to hover in one area too long. If you apply too much suction to one place, it can make it red. And I forgot to mention, you also don't want to go over an area more than once or twice. Um, areas where I would repeatedly like keep going over it because I thought it wasn't like removing anything, it started to get a little irritated. So you just don't want to repeat um, the same motion in the same area more than like twice, I would say. Now I'm switching to the smaller head of this, and this is meant for more detailed areas like around the nose. It was definitely a lot easier using the smaller one. I feel like I was able to just get in there better for the blackheads. 
this is super gross, but there's actually stuff in the end. Of course, I checked because I wanted to see if it was actually working, but it's just like a little bit of residue around there. It didn't like fully suction out like the entire blackhead, but it just kind of removed that like gross built up gunk that sits on the surface, if that makes sense. So now for step three, which is the toning portion, you just remove the little piece off the back and then it actually comes with a bottle and then also a funnel to where you can put your favorite toner. I'm using the Michael Todd Blue Green Algae Antibacterial Toner. Just pouring a little bit into this bottle and then I'm just squeezing some into the device. And then you use the top button to turn it on and you can see my face when I first realized the way that it came out. I actually thought that it came out in the top like a brush head but it actually blows out from the bottom and it's just so cool. It's like a mister. It feels so relaxing and refreshing on your face and it definitely helps to just tone down any redness and just help balance out that pH in your skin after doing the treatment. So these are my final results. My face looks a little bit red and irritated, but that's just from the suction and everything. But I'm going to go ahead and apply a heavy moisturizer. Um, it's actually nighttime. That's why I'm in my pajamas, but I'm going to go to bed and show you what it looks like when I wake up in the morning, which is always the best part. So this was my results after the next morning when all the redness had gone down and it just was so glowy. I was amazed at the texture of my skin. It literally felt like a baby skin it was so smooth and even my freckles looked less obvious and the leftover acne marks that I had are definitely a lot less red I can barely even see where they were it was just so dewy and plump I don't even know how to describe it but my makeup went on so smooth and flawless I didn't even have to blend it as much it was crazy so that's it for this review video I hope you guys enjoyed it I will have pictures of before and after and everything on the blog post that goes with this video and the link to purchase this product will be in the description box down below along with that blog link where you can see more information on there and stuff I have a discount with Michael Todd that you guys can use to order through the link that I have below. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this out or if you plan on testing it out and I would love to hear what your thoughts were. Thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye everyone.